Hi, Oak Lawn. Today, Governor Pritzker extended the stay-at-home order until Thursday, April 30th. This means that all schools will remain closed and Village Hall will remain closed for routine business during this time. We are fully staffed. Um, we're available by phone and email and we'll continue to take your calls and be there for you. But as we find new ways to do business remotely, I believe many of these new methods will improve what we can do for you when things return to normal. There really is a silver lining, I think, in this cloud, and we're trying to look on the positive side. Passers uh, by the hospital may um, notice uh, on Kilbourne a very large tent that's been put up outside the emergency room. This is on the west end of the hospital um, across the street. Patients coming to the emergency department will be screened, and if they have an upper respiratory uh, symptom or infection, those tents uh, will be where they're sent for care. This is not a COVID-19 testing facility. What it is, it's designed to see patients and send them home to quarantine if, they think they're, if we think they're exhibiting symptoms. Again, this is not a COVID-19 testing facility. Presently, the only people getting those tests are people already in the hospital who are pretty sick. Um, this is the present situation. I'm hopeful that this will change in the future. Um, it's heartbreaking, but the hospital is not permitting visitors during the pandemic. This is obviously for safety reasons. If your loved one is sick, you won't be able to be there with them. And I know it's agonizing for families and individuals. Please do everything possible so this does not happen to your children, your parents, your spouse, your loved ones, or even to you. Stay home and save lives. Let's please keep our healthcare workers and first responders in your thoughts and prayers. There's a sign out in front of the hospital that says, heroes work here. And that couldn't be more true. So let's do our part, please, so that they can do what they need to do and return back to life and their own families as quickly as possible. Um, this is the least we could be doing for them. They're doing so much for us and, and I'm very thankful for that. Remember, stay home and save lives. With it being now the first of the month, many residents are wondering how they're gonna pay their bills, where is the rent money coming from, what are they gonna do? Please check the resources on the website coronavirus.illinois.gov. There are many options available for individuals, um, for businesses. There's a lot of updated information there all the time. Please check it out. The stress and uncertainty right now is getting to everyone and it's never been more important to have a positive outlook. Try to do something today for someone to let them know, hey, I'm thinking of you. Whether it's making a call, reaching out, let someone know you're there to listen or to help. And remember, you know, we may not be together, but we can still be connected and uh, with each other and, uh, you know, be there for each other. We can do this. If you need food um, for yourself or for your family, please check the village's website, oaklawn-il.gov. Um, click on the far right, there's a COVID-19 tab, and there's a link to food pantries there. Um, these are updated and changing pretty uh, dynamically. I wanna really thank the volunteers at St. Paul's, Faith Lutheran, Pilgrim Faith, Oaklawn Community Church, St. Gerald's, and Calvary Church um, for keeping this critical safety net going. It is hard work and it's dedicated work and these people are there very steady. Um, if there are any pantries I didn't list, my apologies, please reach out to the village or to me and we'll make sure that our website's updated to get that information out into the community. Um, also don't forget, anyone 18 and under is, can get free breakfast and lunch. Um, these are available through our schools. Many schools are part of this program but don't have it on site. 
They're doing a fantastic job, but please check your child's school's website for details on the times and locations and the different procedures. Um, more than a thousand meals a day on average are provided to Oaklawn children. This is a wonderful thing. Also on our website are listings of businesses that are open <clears throat> and if they have special hours or special menus that are listed, um, that'll all be on there. If you'd like your business, if it's an Oaklawn business listed, please contact us and we will make that happen for you. Um, let's shop Oaklawn. Let's help these businesses who are struggling keep their staff employed. These are your neighbors. Um, let's help them keep their lights on. It's critical right now. Many residents have reached out to me about the recent and temporary change with the yard waste pickup in our village. I can tell you in these crazy times, um, every single business worldwide has made changes to how they operate. Um, the pandemic has been pervasive with everyone. Republic is a national company and they made that decision on a national basis so that they can give priority to residential regular household waste. It seems that with everyone being at home, um, the amount of garbage has increased exponentially and waste hauling is very, very heavily regulated as an industry. There are very strict requirements um, with respect to how many hours drivers can work. And I'm told that th those limitations kind of drove part of that decision making. Um, with only so many man hours available, the decision was made to make residential waste the priority. Um, we know that everyone's doing their spring projects and that grass is gonna start growing now that the weather is getting warmer. We want that yard waste removed. We are working with them to resolve this temporary situation. Please be patient. Um, no one wants their regular waste hanging around, so this is a way to do that. Um, we're hearing that many residents have questions also about the census. I'm told, you know, they're, they're not gonna go door to door um, right now because of this pandemic. It's just not safe. So they're likely gonna move the deadlines out and extend those. I don't believe it's finalized yet. So please watch the news on that. And lastly, I hate to say it, um, while the weather's warmer, that's great, but I wanna remind people, do not congregate in our parks with friends, um, no, no playing of sports, maintain social distancing, and remember playgrounds are all closed throughout the village of Oak Lawn. Our police are prepared to write $500 citations. They are not messing around. We are taking this very seriously. Please stay home, save lives, and it won't be long until we're enjoying our regular lives and our freedom once more. Thank you very much and uh, stay safe, Oakland. Thank you.